Eritrea is comprised of five students and two mentors who are participating this weekend. Wearing the white as they make their way in, blinding us as well with their robot and its proficiency. You'll see it in Endgame. That, uh, in the 2017 competition that Team Eritrea hadn't been represented. So she reached out to for the first global competition and essentially stated that she was interested in forming a group that would, you know, uh, compete in the competition. So eventually she looked throughout Calgary because that's where she's based and she was looking for young Eritrean youth who were interested and that's essentially how the how it formed in Calgary how we uh, got to represent Team Eritrea. You've been to this competition before haven't you? Yeah, we so have. tell us about this what's it what's it all about? Um, it's basically it was based in um, Geneva Switzerland like last year 2022 like around the same time and it was just like all the pretty much all the countries in the world coming together and like we all like we we had we made we made a lot of friends too mm. and we just got to exchange like our like ideas with our robot um like get help with anything we needed and like everyone was really nice so it was we'll nice. get to the robot in a second but let's yeah. just back up so hey are you telling me you were in geneva last year you're gonna be in singapore this year yeah. representing eritrea and yet were you both born here uh, in Canada, yeah. Yeah. Canada. So is that weird for you? I mean, I guess it is, but it's just good to know, like, I'm from Eritrea and I'm still getting to represent Eritrea. I don't, you know. Because otherwise they wouldn't have representation, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely means a lot to, like, our family and the community because, you know, not a lot of people get this opportunity. So we know that the weight is on our shoulders, but, of course, we know that it's a big responsibility, but we're, we have the support of everybody all around. So, you know, it, I wouldn't say there's no pressure on it, but we definitely feel uh, support and love from everybody. So, yeah, it's definitely um, really important for us to represent. So what does your device do? Um, so I would say there's essentially like three different like core factors on the robot. There's an intake system that takes in uh, different color balls. There's a, kind of like a filter that separates the uh, blue balls from the green balls. And there's a shooter, and as well as there's a hook, that the shooter shoots the green balls specifically, and then the hook rises, and there's a bucket attached to the hook that jumps up. Please like and subscribe to Aerie Live 360.